You should now be familiar with the basics of putting together a PowerPoint presentation by starting from blank slides. Now let's take a look at templates and wizards. We'll start with a clean slate. Click on the New Presentation button up here on the left, or select File, New. If you don't have a panel open on the right side of the screen, like this, then just select Format, Slide Layout. Then you can select New Presentation, and from that, select From Design Template. The design templates give you an assortment of themes that can be used as the background for your presentation. Scan through the database of templates that are available by using the vertical scroll bar to go up and down the database. When you feel you have found a design that you would like to take a closer look at or use, move the cursor over the design and click. There. How's that for a little ready-to-use pizzazz? Try a few more until you get it just right. Once you have chosen one template, you can change the color schemes used by selecting Color Scheme, like this and get just the right combination of colors. By clicking on the pull-down beside each color scheme, you will see that you can automatically apply it to all slides or just to the one you are working on. You can still modify and customize the presentation in exactly the same way you worked on the blank one. Changing the template does not affect the text you have entered. Neat, huh? Another way to help you create presentations easily is to use an auto-content wizard. They take the design templates one step further. If you need a little help structuring your presentation, run this wizard when you're creating a new project. PowerPoint will ask you to make some choices about the kind of presentation you're trying to create, and will generate the complete presentation structure based on preloaded samples. Let's create a new presentation. Under the From Design Template option that we just used, you will find the From Auto Content Wizard selection. Selecting it will launch the wizard. We'll run through it as an example. In this case, we'll just choose a generic one, Brainstorming. Then click Next to move through the wizard. We're just presenting this, so we select On-Screen Presentation. Then we give it a title, My Brainstorm, and allow it to include the date and slide number in the footer. Next, and ta-da! We are finished, and we have created a full multi-page presentation around brainstorming, including an agenda this will be a great head start for your presentation. When the wizard finishes, if you have your slide summary panel active here on the left, notice it's already created a bunch of slides, which you can look at here. Clicking on any one of these slides will bring it up in your work area. For example, this one suggests you place information about the purpose of the project and details about yourself in the introduction. You can now modify it to contain whatever actual information you want. Think of the auto-content wizards as a kind of helping hand when you're pressed for time and need a simple structure already laid out. In the videos to come, we'll be covering how to add on to and create far more elaborate presentations than this one.